Hi there, I'm Dr. Emmanuel Mokunye, and you're welcome to another episode of Consumption to Production Niger. Today, we'll be talking about the production of caustic soda, also known as sodium hydroxide. And the required raw material is brine or rock salt. Caustic soda is used in the production of soap and detergent. It's used in the food manufacturing industry, in the petroleum refining, aluminum production, and other industrial applications. There's a huge opportunity in the production of caustic soda. Let's examine the facts. Facts. According to the Observatory of Economic Complexity, in 2023, Nigeria imported caustic soda worth $57.1 million. Fact, according to the Observatory of Economic Complexity, in 2023, Nigeria was the largest importer of caustic soda. Fact. The jobs in this industry is estimated to be about 3,000 jobs. Where can we find the required raw material? The raw material required can be found in states such as Bainway states, Ebony states, and Plato states. Let's talk about the project information. The factory size is going to be about 610 square meters. The land space required is 100 by 400. The output capacity is 10 ton per day. The working time is about 12 hours. The total power required is estimated to be between 800 to 1500 kilowatts. The classification of this factory is medium scale factory. The number of workers required is 19 people per shift. And the regulators are NAVDAC and SUN. Let's talk about the equipment required. As you can see, there are about six processes. The takeaway here is the number of people required. I will talk about the equipment in detail uh, when we talk about each process. The first process here is the brine preparation, and you need five people. The next is the electrolysis. You need one person. Caustic concentration is next, where you need three people. The drying and solidification is the next process, and here you need three people. Cooling and sieving, you need one person and package and storage, you need three people here. There are other equipments that are required for the production of caustic soda here, and they include the steam boiler, the cooling tower, and the refrigerating unit, of which you need two people. Now let's talk about the process in much detail. The first process is the brine preparation and purification. This process exists to remove impurities from the raw salt solution. And the equipment here are brine dissolver tanks, the settling tanks, filtration system, and the ion exchange system. In this process, raw salt is dissolved in water to form concentrated brine solution. Impurities are then removed using precipitation. The brine solution is then filtered using the filtration system. After the filtration, the brine goes through ion exchange system to further remove impurities. At this point, impurities such as calcium and magnesium will be removed. The brine solution is then sent to the next process. The second process is the electrolysis using membrane cell technology. This process produces three things, caustic soda, chlorine, and hydrogen. 
Our focus is on the production of caustic soda. We'll talk about hydrogen and chlorine production in another episode. The equipment required in this process are the electrolyzer, of which we're using the membrane cell technology, and caustic soda storage tank. Let's talk about the process. Brine is fed into the membrane cell electrolyzer where electric current is applied. The third process is the caustic soda concentration. This process enables the concentration of caustic soda solution to 50%. The equipment required are the multi-effect evaporators, heat exchanger, storage tank. Here, the solution from previous step is heated in an evaporator to remove excess water. The final solution reaches 50% sodium hydroxide concentration. The fourth process is the drying and the solidification process. This process converts liquid caustic soda into solid curls or flakes. The goal here is to convert the 50% caustic solution into solid caustic curls with 99% purity. The equipment required are spray dryer or caustic soda flaker, fluidized bed granulator for pearl formation, a cooling conveyor, and a packaging unit. Here, the 50% caustic solution is dried in a spray dryer or flaker to form solid flakes. The flakes are then fed into the fluidized bed granulator to form uniform caustic soda pearls. In the cooling process, the pearls are cooled, sieved for uniformity, and sent to packaging. The final process is my favorite process, packaging and storage. This process ensures a moisture-proof packaging. And the equipment required is either an automated or manual bagging system. Here, the caustic soda pearls are packaged in a moisture-proof bags to prevent contamination. They are then palletized and stored or shipped to customer. The final product you get here is bagged 99% caustic pearls or flakes ready for industrial use. To get the required equipment, you can import them or you can get them locally made in Nigeria. Now, you know me and you know I will always advocate for locally made equipment. And I can fabricate all the required equipment. I can also help you set up the factory. I have a team of very experienced engineers and this is what they do. This is how they make a living. If you need me to help, Please send me an email to mokunye nigeria limited at gmail.com. Again, it's mokunye nigeria limited at gmail.com. Let me know in the comment section if you would like more information. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be focusing on the core Akalai industry. Let me know if there is any factory you would like me to talk about in the next video. I am eager to hear what you have to say in the comment section. Remember, the word impossible is a fool's favorite quote. But with God, all things are possible. Until next time, I remain your optimistic friend, Dr. Emmanuel Mokin, aka Dr. Industrial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one.